Hi there, it's Jason Cole from Cole Studios. Today we're going to talk about batch processing. A lot of people have asked me about batch processing, so I thought I'd do a little tutorial on, you know, what is batch processing. So what we've basically got here to start with, we've got a, a, a like a group of photos here. There's 20 shots in the Marta directory. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to basically edit one photo, then we're going to apply that to all the photos. Okay, so what we're going to do to start with, we're going to open a photo. So let's just get the first one, open it up in Photoshop, just drop it in Photoshop, and there it comes. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to go, uh, we're, we're basically we're going to start a batch process now. So you come over to here, over to Actions, over on the uh, right hand side of the screen, click New. See the little button down here, it says New. Name the action. Now what I do when I name actions, I always just have codes that I use for actions so I know what the action is. So for Auto Contrast, I do AC. Okay, for Shadow Highlight, I do SHL. And then I want it plus Save, plus close okay now basically that's just a name that can be anything but i do that so i can see it's i've got an auto contrast a shadow highlight a save and a close now with the shadow highlight i'm going to do 15 percent so what i'll do there is i'll do 15 percent just so it's so it's pretty obvious what it is you can also set a function key so if you go like say say f2 and shift when, when the batch process is done if you do shift f2 it automatically runs the batch process for you but uh, we'll come back to that so click record Okay, now what the computer is doing now, what Photoshop CS4 is doing now, it's now recording the process. So what we do, start with, we'll go image, auto contrast. Now if you notice over here, it's recorded the auto contrast levels. And then you go image, adjustment, shadow highlight. Now see the shadow highlights brought out a lot of detail in the shadows. And again, we're going to make that 15, 15 and 30, 30, okay. Just click Save as Defaults and click OK. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And then we're going to go File, Save As. It's important to go Save As and not just Save. If you do Save As, it'll save it as each file name rather than trying to save the same photo as the same file name right through the whole thing. For example, if you had, say, Photo 01 and you just do Save, it'll try and save everything as Photo 01. So click Save As. Okay, it's just it's brought the name up. Just click Save and then click Replace. Okay, always save maximum quality 12, click OK, and go File and Close. That's it. Now over here on the batch process, over here on the side, just click Stop. Now, you've, now if you look up here, we've got the Auto Contrast, Shadow Highlight, Save and Close. So you've got the Levels, the Shadow Highlight, the Save and the Close. So basically what that's done, that's just recorded all the actions. Now what you do, if you want to run it on all of these photos, now just remember the first photo we've already run it on, so what we'll do, we'll just drop that photo out, because you don't want to run the, the uh, batch process twice on the same photo. So what we'll do, you go over to here, now you go File, Automate, Batch, okay, File, Automate, Batch, find your folder, click Choose, and there it is, we've already, we've already selected it, but if you go to the desktop, and then it was Marta. Now you don't need to select individual files here, all you need to do is just select choose, so yeah, just click choose, bang. Now uh, as far as the uh, the source goes, it's just a folder, the destination is save and close, so you're basically saying save that and close that in the same uh, in the same folder. Alright, with down here with errors, this is a really important one, it says log errors to file, make sure you click that, rather than click stop for errors, so it stops in the middle of your batch process, click log errors to file. And then click save as and just you know, untitled.txt is fine because I you know, don't really ever use that anyway. Okay, and then you just click OK. That's all you do. Now what this does, see that's going through each photo and it's applying those changes to each photo. It's quite quick because I've, I've resized the photos to make them smaller just for the purposes of showing you how this actually works. The beauty about this is you could do like an auto contrast, a shadow highlight, a skin smoothing, whatever, whatever you want to do on every photo. So rather than sit here and open individual photos like photo by photo, you can actually go through and you can do them all in one go. And you know, like say you're doing a wedding, you want to do an auto contrast on a wedding or a, you know, skin smoothing or whatever you want to do on a wedding and you might have you know say 2,000 shots rather than sit here and go through shot by shot you can just automate it and uh, and yeah just go right through the whole process a couple of things to consider though so you're doing say you don't do auto color adjustments because like say you did a an auto color some photos will work really well with auto colors other photos will wreck and it doesn't distinguish between that so you know there's some things you don't do on every photo but um, yes, yeah, so that, that's uh, that's how batch processing works. Very simple. And you can batch process almost anything. There's not much you can't batch process as far as commands go. You can even batch process like you know the skin softening. You can batch process 
process of a visa as long as you have the uh, like say say you had the blue sky like saying this photo here and this photo as long as you had the blue selected in the right spot you could actually batch process the blue in these two to you know punch the sky out a lot more so yeah that's it so that's batch processing it's very very straightforward uh, thanks for watching and there's uh, you'll see a lot more tutorials coming up on JCP DVD on YouTube and you can see our website at www.colstudios.com.au thanks for watching